Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In Tech for Good, we are going to look at robots. Boston Dynamics is a company that makes great robots. The world's most dynamic humanoid robot, Atlas, is a research platform designed to push the limits of mobility. Atlas Advanced Control System and state-of-the-art hardware give the robot the power and balance to demonstrate human-level agility. This enables Atlas to understand instructions. Just as we humans and animals have joints that make it possible to move around, it's the same way with Atlas with its 28 joints. It stands at a fantastic 5 feet or almost 1.4 meters in height. As you see, it's nimble even as its weight comes in at 176 pounds or 76 kilograms. It takes on any challenge that comes in its way. Many compare its motion with parkour. If you never heard about parkour, it's a training discipline using your body, usually navigating urban landscapes from jumping over gaps to rooftops. We recommend you take a look at it. We put a link to a great channel below in the description. Back to Atlas and its movement. Would you imagine it can do a 360? Yes it can. If that was impressive, let's have Atlas do a full 360 backflip. That's more than most humans can do. Some of you might be thinking, why is this such a tech for good? Well, imagine situations like an earthquake. Many building and infrastructure have collapsed. People are trapped, but it's too dangerous for rescue workers to go in. Here can Atlas be a replacement and help to rescue people without endangering the rescue team. Now let's look at their second robot. Humans love our pets, and dogs are among the most popular. It's often referred to as a man and woman's best friend. So why should Atlas not have a dog? Say hello to Spot. A four-legged dog-looking robot. He has been in development at Boston Dynamics for a long time but is one of their primary robots. It has five sets of cameras placed around the body. It helps it navigate and send feedback. It can send back images, video, and have heat cameras to locate people and animals. And even scan to make a 3D model with its many sensors. It can open doors. Well, it cheats a bit here compared with a dog. But it gets the job done. It's designed for industrial uses and has a wide range of tasks it can perform. It has a top speed of 2 miles per hour or 1.6 meters a second. The battery doesn't last as long as your iPhone, but 90 minutes is not too bad for all it can do. Spot can, on the other hand, swap its battery pack for another 90 minutes. It's a powerful battery that sits in the belly. Again here is a robot that can enter areas that is hard to reach and harmful to humans. Its 360 degree cameras and sensors can send back an astonishing amount of data. It also uses gyro and other sensors to stay balanced and navigate the terrain. Inside is a powerful computer that interprets all this data. And that would be the brain. It can handle from 4 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. That's from minus 20 to plus 45 degrees Celsius. But he doesn't need to work alone. He can join forces with other robots. Like here where the spots, as I guess we should call them, work together to pull a big truck. The remote control operates the robot, but the computer uses its cameras and sensors to build that 3D model we talked about before. It uses this to navigate and recognize its surroundings. Suppose we take a step back to the iPhone again. iPhones can use many services that talk to one another using something called an API. It's a standard way of transferring data and information. The robots also have an API, and companies and developers can make it handle a super wide range of tasks. Many of you might have a DJI drone. Most of the drones use their camera and sensors to not crash. So when it meets like a tree, it uses the sensors to navigate around it. It's the same way with how he uses its data to do the same. Just a whole lot more advanced. A robot is not perfect, and he might fall over. But he can also get back on his feet which is impressive.
The Control is an Android-based controller with a screen and has buttons and a joystick. Much like a PlayStation or Xbox. On top are a set of rails and some ports that can hold and connect other devices that make the possibilities endless. Let's say there is a fire in a place that produces toxic materials. It would be dangerous to send in people in this environment. But sensors can be mounted on top. He can then go in and send back data about the toxic levels and give information on how to handle the situation. Information on how to put out the fire. While keeping the rescue team safe. Several robots are already on the market and can be leased to companies around the globe. We place the link to Boston Dynamics website in the description below. When we see what they have done so far, we are super excited about what the future holds for Spot. As always, if you like the video, give it a like, consider to subscribe and hit that bell. Then you get updates when we publish new content. Also, please leave a comment below about what you think the future looks like for robots like Spot. Thanks for now, and we see you soon.